Okay, good evening Hackology and welcome to another episode. In tonight's video we're going to be looking at charging batteries from a DC source. In the last video I showed you um, the circuit works fine when the generator produces more than 5 volts but the only problem was that the, uh, to produce 5 volts from the laser printer uh, motor you'd have to spin the turbine at a stupid amount of uh, revolutions so uh, I uh, decided to rewire the battery pack in parallel um, as uh, it distributes the charge through the batteries uh, when the turbine is producing a much lower voltage. So uh, let me explain. So potential difference, if we had two tubes of water connected with a pipe between them and we lifted the one above the other one, so say we increase the voltage of this, water would flow from the higher tub to the lower one. Um, no water would flow from this bottom tub upwards because of gravity. Right? So the same thing happens with electronics. Uh, if we haven't got a um, greater voltage on this side it won't flow down to the other. So our charging circuit wouldn't be doing any charging unless the voltage exceeds that of the battery pack. So by wiring it in series it was producing 5 volts and now we're wiring it in parallel it's a 1.25 volt battery pack. Okay, so the solution was just to rewire the battery pack. Let me explain. Um, charging, charging in series, if we had four AA batteries at 1.25 volts each, four cells would equal 5 volts with a 1000 milliamp hour output. So the minimum voltage required to charge that would be 5 volts. Um, when we're producing small amounts of voltage, it's better to charge in parallel. And when charging in parallel, the charge is distributed evenly between all the batteries. So we could consider um, putting, uh, we could consider series charging uh, a more powerful circuit. For example, how conventional wind tur turbines work are usually off two 12 volt batteries connected in series, and then these cells, uh, which are 24 volt cells, are then connected in parallel. So basically if your wind turbine was producing between 20 and 25 volts it would be um, ideal to run the 24 volt battery packs in parallel to extend the power of your battery bank. And uh, that just about covers tonight's tutorial. Um, um, we may talk about charge controllers in future but when you're dealing with much bigger circuits you have to consider um, overloading the batteries and um, dumping the charge to a, a, another circuit so you don't damage the batteries by overcharging them. Uh, we may cover that in a future video but not until I get the equipment and I can test it all out. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. As always have fun hacking. Uh, shout out to everybody. That's been Hackology. As always have fun hacking and we'll be back sooner than you think. Right, and just before we go, um, <coughs> I thought I'd show you the um, turbine. There's the uh, laser printer motor and the stator. Uh, this was the design for the top of the uh, blades. You use the minimum amount of wood and try and make it as strong as possible. These are just temporary, but these are to test it. I haven't had ideal conditions yet outside, but I thought I'd give you guys a little demo because it looks damn cool when it's spinning. Um, there's also an LED here to indicate if there's charge in the capacitor to charge the battery bank. And there's a battery bank in there of four AA batteries running parallel. And uh, let's just give it a spin, check it doesn't hit anything. Okay. Yeah, it looks awesome. So um, basically when this is up to speed, 
and spinning fast enough. This LED on the front will light up to show that the uh, circuit is active and charging the batteries. Um, but yeah, anyway, I thought I'd let you have a quick peek at that before uh, the next video.